the technician's channel and today we're going to be moving into this toolbox. Not really doing a toolbox tour, but we're going to be doing a review on the toolbox. Um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, can I do a review on it? They want to know dimensions and everything like that. Uh, quality and how it's held up for me. Because there are quite a few toolbox reviews on YouTube, but when it comes to the Husky boxes, there aren't very many on this box and the ones that there are aren't that great because I tried looking for them as well before I purchased this box as well. So I want to make a review for you guys that have asked me to and for anybody else watching. I really hope you guys enjoy. And if you just got off work, grab yourself a beer and enjoy. We'll be going over the specs, uh, quality, warranty, price, uh, dimensions, all that good stuff. So if you enjoy, make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so before I actually get into showing you the dimensions and talking more about the box, I want to go over something real quickly. Uh, a lot of questions, or this question is asked a lot. Uh, will store-bought boxes from like Lowe's or Home Depot or anything like that, uh, such as Husky, Milwaukee, Cobalt, Craftsman, will they hold up for a do-it-yourselfer or a professional? Do-it-yourselfers, they're absolutely great boxes. They're great for home use. For starters, or professionals, they are good boxes. But for starters, uh, I wouldn't, you know, if you're expecting this box to last you in the professional field for years and years, it's probably not going to happen. Now, if you're, if you take care of it really well, it will last you a while in the professional field. But to me, I would just say they're good starter boxes because if you're getting into this field and you don't have a lot of money, you want to focus on putting that money towards tools other than a box. Uh, as long as your box holds the amount of tools that you have and secures them, it doesn't matter. That is a great starter box. Now, later on, uh, you can get a better box. But to start out, make sure you get yourself some good quality tools so you can get those jobs done good and fast so you can make that money to invest in a better box. But for these store-bought boxes, they are great starter boxes. So if you're wondering that, it's true. They are great starter boxes. But I'd say a year or two and then maybe think about investing into a better box. Uh, also, you gotta be careful when you're in a store looking for toolboxes like this. Uh, Husky, Milwaukee, Cobalt, all of them, they make many different varieties of their boxes and they're not all of the same quality. Some will be a lot flimsier than others. Uh, they may look identical, like the 60 inch workbench that's almost identical to this. Uh, it just doesn't feel as well built because I'm very interested in that box, but I think I want something a little bit higher quality. So if you have that 60 inch workbench, I'm sure it's great for you and I would love to have it here, but I think I'm going to get like a Gator built box for my starter box. Um, but we're going to get into the information on this box now and I really hope you guys enjoy. Okay, hey, YouTubers, so this is my Husky 52 inch flat black or textured black toolbox. Um, it has been great for home use and I believe it would even work as a good starter box. Uh, it's 52 inches wide and 20 inches deep. <coughs> it's a 15 drawer tool chest and cabinet textured black and it runs around $700, uh, $698. If you can get a military discount, it's even cheaper, and uh, sometimes they'll be on sale as well. But uh, the total cubic inches of storage is 35,757, uh, so a good amount of room. It features power strips, a magnetic back wall, a bottle opener, liners, a handle for the side, uh, heavy duty casters. It can support up to 2,500 pounds. Um, the model number is Hotel 52 Charlie Hotel 6 Tango Romeo 9. Um, all, it has all the dimensions here online, but I'm not going to go over them. I'm going to actually show you the measurements because they are different. Um, but it comes assembled. It's the top and bottom. You can order them separately. It's got a rust resistant powder coat textured black paint with the uh, black handles, which I like. Some people might not like that. Some people like the black and chrome, but I like the, the murdered out look. Uh, the drawer slide weight rating is 120 pounds per pair. And then they are ball bearing slides. The lid has gas struts and it does have the soft close drawer feature. Uh, the gauge steel 
used on this box is 20 and then it's considered a heavy duty grade so it has dual locks it has a lock for the top box and bottom box and the safety drawer over here where you can keep you know your wallet and keys and stuff um, nominal width is 52 drawers is 15 number of shelves is one which is inside of that hutch on top product depth is 20.2 but we'll get to that here in a little bit the overall height is 64.3 inches and 421 pounds the actual width is 52.4 inches it is returnable in 90 days to home depot uh, and once again the weight capacity is 2500 i do really enjoy these casters and i will go over the pros and cons of everything of this box that i've noticed so far but let's get into a close-up. Okay, YouTubers, so here you can see the double locks, for one for the bottom, one for the top, and then over here on this drawer you have a lock as well, which they give you a gray key for. Uh, but here's the style of key that you get. And it actually works really well. It's smooth operating. When I first got this box, uh, one of the downsides that, uh, or I considered a con, was that I had an issue locking the top box sometimes just because of this top hatch. It wouldn't shut uh, level. One side would kind of angle up just a hair just to where it wouldn't shut, so I'd have to put my finger here to lock it. But all I did was twist it and it operates perfectly now. Super easy to operate for both top and bottom. So I'm going to leave them unlocked for now, uh, but here is the other style for the individual drawer. It's a silver one and the top and bottom both use the same key so you don't have to worry about having multiple keys for each lock. Um, so that's a good thing. But now we're going to get into the dimensions and uh, I will kind of show you what is different about online compared to uh, the actual box itself. Okay, so online it does say the depth of it or uh, the length is 20.4 or 20.3, which is not actually correct. Uh, it is 19 and 3 quarters up top, and on the bottom it is 20 and 1 eighth. So maybe more for the bottom box, but the top and bottom are actually a little bit different sizes just because the top box does sit inside the lip of the bottom box. Uh, not a big deal. So the outside uh, dimensions of the box is off a little bit, but pretty accurate. Uh, now let's look at the length of the box. So the length of the top, which is obviously going to be just a little bit shorter than the bottom is 51 and three quarters and the bottom is 52 and one eighth so the bottom box is obviously a little bit bigger because it has to hold the top box but the real misunderstanding is the depth yes it's 20 inches on the outside um, but let's get into actually measuring the drawers and this would be considered a con if you didn't understand the description online. So yes, the box is 20 inches deep and the drawers do pull out to where they're flush with the drawer above it. Um, but measuring the actual depth of the drawer, you have, not sure if you guys can see that or not, but just over 17 and a quarter or three quarters 17 and three quarters inches deep and then on the bottom box once again going from the back of the board the bottom box is 17 and one eighth inches deep so the bottom box drawers aren't as deep as the top box and neither of them are 18 inches long uh, so you have a 20 inch deep box and they're only using 17 and roughly a half an inch. Um, so that's a downside. They do say it's 20 inches deep, but the drawers 
don't utilize all of that space just because of the locking mechanism in the back and I don't know. They could have figured out a little bit better way to operate it to where they could have had a little bit deeper drawer like some of the more expensive boxes, but you get what you pay for. We went over the depth of the box and uh, you know the total height and width of the box. So up top you have two handles here so it's better than those boxes that are just flush and you kind of got to grab it. So you get two handles up top and you have Husky kind of imprinted on the top here. Open it up. You got this nice Husky back plating to it that's screwed to the top. Uh, they do have gas struts here which operate really nicely, smooth operation, no issues with those yet. Um, and then you get six total drawers and your work surface here. And the box does come with all the drawer liners and this little workspace liner as well. But let's get a little bit closer up and take a look into the top part. Okay, so you can see this rail system on the back. You can attach things to it with uh, certain rail attachments, but it is a big magnetic strip across the back. So you can throw things on there and uh, just your, you know, your more commonly used stuff. I don't really use it, but it is a really nice feature to have. So you do have that running across basically the entire back of the box. And then another nice thing about this box, let me go ahead and disconnect you guys. You do have power strips in the top part, which are on both sides of the box. And what's nice is each one has four plug-ins and two USB ports. I keep these here for my music and uh, charging my camera and stuff like that. But you get a nice depth here, good workplace. Um, I usually try to keep my top clear, but I'm kind of overflow on tools right now, so I'm using it as much as I can. It has chargers, it has two grommets, one on this side and one on this side as well. And that is basically it for the top. As far as the drawers, we already went over how deep they are in the box, uh, but how deep are the actual drawers? And they actually differ from side to side. These are an inch and a half deep this direction, and these are an inch and three quarters deep this direction. And then these two bottom bigger drawers are four and seven eighths inches deep so they are a good depth on these two bottom drawers these are deep enough to hold screwdrivers and pliers and uh, a low profile wrench set so they are deep enough for that but i just keep my screwdrivers there and my pliers here because i like to stand them up instead of laying them down because it does save some room so that's what i've done with my box but overall, really nice. All of these are a single slide drawer, one slide on each side, even this bigger drawer here. Uh, but it still holds 120 pounds. And whether I had, you know, sockets or pliers or whatever in here, uh, I'm pretty sure 120 pounds is plenty for that drawer. Um, but let's move into the bottom box. But before that, you guys did see that this does have the nice soft close feature and I've had zero issues with that. They've all worked really nicely. Whether the drawer is loaded down or empty, they've worked great for me. So looking at the bottom box, you have a nine drawer system here. Uh, you can buy this by itself. I think it's around $400 individually. Uh, you got your four drawers on this side, which are you know about three quarters of it. And then you got your quarter drawers over there and then your long uh, hole drawer right here. And most people will keep their sockets and extensions and ratchets in this drawer. But the issue I came into were my half inch uh, drive sockets stood just a hair too tall for the drawer to shut. So I made this my main wrench drawer. And it does only have uh, a depth of 17 and a quarter that direction and about a three and a half inch depth this direction. So it is a really good sized drawer, but I couldn't use it for what I wanted, but I'm sure a majority of people could uh, make it work. So 
Another thing I want to mention about this drawer, it is the long drawer, but it only has the single slide on each side. But it does have the center brace slide as well. So this drawer is rated around 200 pounds, which is plenty for your sockets and ratchets and stuff. So here's kind of a side view of it. And it has worked great for me. It operates extremely smoothly as well. And I've had no issues with it. So after that, you have your kind of three quarter size drawers here which are once again 17 and a quarter inches deep and then three and a quarter as well. So these were the ones that were just big enough to hold my half inch sockets. So if I push this back a little bit, there is a little bit of play there, enough for it to work as my socket drawer and it works well. So this is where I keep my sockets and ratchets, works great. I keep my metric and ratchets in that drawer and then my SAE and extensions in this drawer. So they all work perfectly, never had a problem with the soft close or anything like that. Um, this bottom drawer, both of the bottom drawers are dual slides. Get you a better angle. This drawer is completely loaded down. I have a lot of specialty tools and everything in here. I mean, it, it's loaded down. Um, but it does have the dual slides and they operate really well. So even with this drawer completely loaded down, it does operate extremely well. No binding or grinding or anything like that. Same thing with this drawer. I keep a lot of books and there's a big Tecton angle wrench set in here. So this drawer is really weighed down too. But once again, you got the dual slides. So it's rated at around 250 pounds. So good bottom drawers. And then with these side ones, it is once again, the single slide. Same dimensions as the bigger drawer, obviously just not as big this direction. So that's it. But let's take a look at one of the cons before we get to the end of this video. So I absolutely love this flat black and black uh, combination. Um, it's really nice. The handles and the trim is all kind of the semi-gloss black where the drawers and everything are the textured black powder coating. Kind of a closer up of it. And then the handles. But one of the cons is the trim pieces here and the edges of the handles uh, can be pretty sharp. They don't have end caps like little plastic end caps on them or anything. So they can be sharp. And then here you have the side trim, which looks really nice, but it's literally just held on by like 3M tape or something like that. And this piece always starts coming off. But all I do is press it back on and it stays. But every once in a while, it'll come off. I mean, it never fully comes off or anything, but they could have done a better job with the trim. Like it says, it does have 20 gauge steel um, and it is double rolled here at the tops of the drawer and everything. So it does give them a little bit more rigidity. You don't have a lot of play back and forth in the drawer. They are actually pretty damn sturdy. Uh, so that's one great thing about it. The drawers are actually really strong. Uh, they're not weak or anything like that, but I just think they could have done a better job on the trim. And then the depth of the drawer, I think they could have gone and used a little bit more of the space that they have in this box to make the drawers just even an inch deeper. And then as far as the casters, it is a six caster box. You have swivels on both sides and solid rigid uh, casters in the center. They are all black, which I really like. It has a very nice locking mechanism and they are really smooth operating casters. So that's to unlock it and then to lock it, you just press this down. And it's simple as that. They operate extremely smoothly. These casters have been fantastic. 
not that I move this box a whole lot, but it does sit in front of my breaker box. So I do have to move it every once in a while. But that is the Husky 52 inch textured black box. Also, one thing I want to mention is it does come with a handle for pushing or pulling the box. I did not put it on because I have it butted up against my workbench and then I didn't want the overhang here. Uh, but they do have mounting points for it on both sides of the box. And it does come with a beer bottle opener for your uh, brewskis, um, which can only be mounted to one side, this, not this side. It can be mounted right here on the side, but uh, it obviously butts up against my workbench, so I just mounted it to my workbench and it works just fine. So that is basically it, guys. Okay, YouTubers, so that's basically it for this Husky 52 inch textured black toolbox. Uh, I believe it's a great box. Uh, I think a lot of people could get away as using it as a starter box. Uh, if you have the money, you can get a better box, but if you don't have the tools, make sure you're putting that money towards tools and saving towards the box. Um, but as far as Craftsman, Husky, Milwaukee, Cobalt, a majority of them would make good starter boxes. So for this box, 52 inches wide this way, 20 inches deep, and obviously all the drawers vary depending on the depth. But the depth of this direction, the drawers range from 17 and a quarter to 17 and three quarters. So I think they could have, as Let's go over cons. I think they could have engineered it a little bit better to make the drawers just even an inch deeper, closer to that 20 inches. Uh, and then just this one trim piece over here that I have an issue with that might not be a con for other people. Um, but the pros love the textured black, the black on black, the casters are great. Uh, the drawer slides work phenomenal. Uh, decent on the gauge of steel. Um, the power strips are a great feature, the magnetic strip, the gas shocks on this hutch for the top work absolutely great. Um, all around great, you get drawer liners, so lots of pros and just those cons of the drawer depth and that trim piece. So keep that in mind when you're looking at boxes, you really want to thoroughly look through it. And when you order them from Home Depot or Lowe's or Sears, whether you go with Craftsman, Cobalt, Milwaukee, Husky, uh, you do get a warranty on it for, I believe I said 90 days, 60 or 90 days. Uh, so when you get it, it is usually packaged very well. Uh, so just go through it real quick, make sure nothing is damaged or anything like that. Make sure you have your handle for the box, your bottle opener. Uh, and those are the only two items you have to install on the box besides the six casters. So it all comes assembled. You don't have to mess with the drawers or anything like that. So that is a good thing. Um, overall, great box. This I would recommend to uh, people using it as a starter box or a do-it-yourselfer. Um, but if you have the money, you can put it towards a better box. But make sure you got those better tools as well. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of a box that you might really enjoy, uh, that you got on a deal, or just something that you really love. Uh, and as always, subscribe for not subscriber. Thank you guys.